My first instinct was, that's exciting. Uh, but then comes the next question of, oh dear, how am I going to do it? <laughs> we really want at the end of the day for our students to benefit from it. So uh, if we see a positive change in the students' learning, then definitely that will be a success for us. With ICT, um, students do a lot more collaborative learning. They discuss with their friends and it's no longer passive learning in that sense. That's the good part. However, we are actually contending with a lot more noise in the class. I didn't have this when I was a student and neither did I study how to you know, really make full use of technology, especially uh, the one-to-one. -one. So I guess moving forward, it's more of how, um, as a teacher, I make learning alive for my students. The students themselves are seeing that technology is not something that they use to have fun, but it can be used as a tool for them to anchor their learning. I actually spend more time discussing the content of the passage instead of going through, oh, what does this word mean? So the burden on the teacher is actually less. I was able to get feedback immediately from the students and that helps me in not just planning for my future lessons, but immediately I was able to clarify certain misconceptions from the lesson. I always thought that a teacher should play a, a pivotal role in, in carrying out the lesson. And I realised that with the digital natives as they are, they would like to find the information on their own. Some of them, uh, when I assign the lesson, immediately in the next lesson, they'll be like, Cha, I've done it already. Cha, I read up. There's one question, but I'm not so sure. I'm happy to see this change, and yet I am reminded constantly that I have to be on my toes and I have to keep up with whatever they're doing. 